How was that block we just put in there? It was good. It was good. I have a scar, or some scar tissue there, so that one was uh, a, a little bit different than everywhere else. But I didn't, I didn't really feel a thing. The vibration, yeah, uh, kept me from feeling anything. How is this compared to your previous? The previous one I used uh, nitrous oxide on. Yeah, me. and uh, so I, I felt awful from the nitrous. Yeah. In addition to having that big piece of uh, s s tissue taken out from the back of my head and, yeah. <laughs> and laid down right next to me. Oh, so man. I got to see that as well. Oh, gosh. <laughs> okay, good. So we're already all prepped back here. This is the area we're going to harvest. Um, you can see that these are the old plugs that we got to cover up. This is basically, let me back up a little bit. This is uh, from an old, old style of uh, procedure, and this is the old scar that you can see exposed across here. And we're going to harvest from here using the robot. What you're seeing here is state-of-the-art technology. Hopefully you can hear me over this, uh, this whirl uh, of a noise. This is platelet-rich plasma. Um, this is the angel system that is amazing. And what this is is a type of regenerative medicine that will really help the growth. So in my opinion, robot technology is the cornerstone to what we're doing, but it's not enough because without regenerative medicine, you're not going to get the graft growth potentials that you would get that you would you, you would uh, you get with this type of um, uh, procedure. We have just started the procedure here, and you can see that how accurate the robotic technology is in terms of harvesting the grafts with absolute precision. The green is signifying here the next one, and you can see all the blue ones are where we've already harvested, leaving a very generous number behind, so that the donor area looks as clean as we started with it. Here's a patient yes. here. Yes, select the... And you can see the harvesting in a painless yeah. fashion. How are you doing down there? Great. Easy. Good. Easy? Yeah, I mean, it, uh, it just feels like a slight uh, thump. Like somebody's just... But you're not feeling any pain or anything? No, don't feel anything. Awesome. Well, it's going really well here. Can't wait to correct these things back here. This is going to look awesome. What you heard earlier is uh, we harvested the blood and centrifuged it out so we have what's called platelet-rich plasma. This is also a cell, which is porcine bladder matrix. And the two together are really revolutionary in terms of what it can be, what can be used in, in graft growth. We've been using it for about the last two years. And I've been super impressed in helping uh, the consistency and the hair caliber and the growth. You know, our, our team is excellent, but it's taken it to another level. These are the ones mixed with ACEL we're going to be using with the grafts. So the grafts, a lot of people ask what kind of storage medium do you use? Do you use saline or uh, hypothermosol or what? And we really believe that having uh, your own uh, purified blood with the growth factors and the ACEL has just been amazing in terms of a, a graft storage medium. This here is what is going into the uh, recipient bed. In other words, the area of the crown where we're going to be putting the transplants. This really is almost acting like a fertilizer to help hairs grow tremendously well. And we believe that whether we use robotic technology or not, this has been an amazing difference in our practice. Walking over here, you're seeing this is just plain PRP, and this is going to help donor healing. So this is the area where we've harvested, and I can tell you that with robotic technology, even if we don't do this, it still looks amazing. But this is just an added level of uh, benefit for the donor healing, just to expedite healing in a very, very amazing and fast way. Clay, what are you watching down there? You watching a movie? Band of Brothers. Cool. You watching the whole series? I thought I'd start with the first one, and I, I take your suggestion of jumping over to a comedy. <laughs> yeah, I think it's uh, that's a good idea. I'm glad you're I, enjoying your time. I just don't want to laugh. <laughs> I understand. Procedure. We don't want you to laugh either. Okay, so we finished the uh, harvesting part with the robot, and this part is the artistic part where I'm actually designing what's known as the recipient sites, and the recipient sites are what is what are going to accommodate the graphs, or where the graphs are going to go into. And what I'm trying to do with the design work is to really camouflage these bad plugs from before, create some visual density. Um, and what I'm using is what's called a micro punch instrument, which is really, really good for follicular unit extraction or robot cases because it matches the same size and dimension of the uh, robotic harvested FUE graphs. 
Um, they also help actually physically shrink down baldness. So the point I'm trying to get across with this video is not just the fact that we're using robotic technology, which is obviously the cornerstone of what we're doing, but all the finesse points that make a result a great one. Okay. What are you watching now, Clay? What's going on here? Well, uh, checking out a couple of series. I got 30 Rock on right now. Nice. Just to let you know, we do have a huge HD screen he's not using, but that's okay. Yeah, this is very convenient as I can set up what I want to watch at any time. Nice, very good. And uh, we're just doing the graph placement right now. And graph placement means taking the graphs that have been beautifully dissected just to be cleaned up a little bit from what the robot did and, and we're placing them into the site. So this is a really wonderful design that I finished making an hour or so ago. And we're just placing them and it looks great. What do you guys think, huh? We love it. It's easy, beautiful, great donor, great pat pattern. Great. Thank it's you for the compliment. Great. And of course, my amazing. girls are amazing too. Amazing. Yes, amazing. And one thing I just want to reiterate is that we did do, do the micro punch technique, which is really, really great. It's easier placing, uh, it takes down some of the bald scalp even further, uh, really fits the uh, robotic um, uh, sites, excuse me, the robotic uh, graphs, robotically harvested graphs much better. And uh, I think Clay's going to have an amazing result. So things are going really well. This is definitely the downhill. Good. Doing a little slalom. Yes. Sounds good. We're done. We are done. Feeling pretty good? Very cool. In front of my cool art over here. <sighs> my wife's coming to pick me up in about an hour, but uh, good. I can't wait to see the results. Wasn't bad, right? Wasn't too bad? No. I mean, this is not a, it's not a trip on the beach, but uh, it's you well, know, we put you on certainly... a couple beaches there. Omaha Beach? Well, no, I'm just here, here's the thing. The professionalism of the organization, the constant concern to my comfort, and, and uh, that one time when I just needed to take a break and take a deep breath, uh, um, the facilities, everything else spoke of the professionalism that I need to see and need to feel comfortable with. So I'm um, looking forward to the results of, of this and uh, recommending you guys. Thank you. All right, buddy. We're done. Good morning. It's Saturday morning at about 11 o'clock. Just wanted to let you know what I did last night. I got home, uh, had a dinner with my family, and I set up uh, a little bed for myself downstairs on the couch. I didn't know exactly how I was going to sleep last night, and I didn't want to disturb my wife, so I set it up on the couch. Turns out it wasn't necessary. I uh, slept quite well on the couch. In fact, when my wife came down this morning, she actually woke me up. I think the biggest surprise so far that I've had through this whole thing is that I have zero pain today. Uh, I'm going to show you the back of my head in a second and uh, let you see for yourself what it looks like. But uh, I have no pain. It just doesn't hurt at all. It, it just su really surprises me after what happened yesterday. I would assume there'd be uh, some aching or probably a headache. Uh, I mean, literally the worst thing that I have is that this ear is sticking out a little bit simply because of uh, the lidocaine kind of drains down and uh, it's just ever tiny bit, the tiniest bit sensitive just from that lidocaine. I know that's going to dissipate in a day or two. I mean, that's it. A whole day of, uh, of work on my head and uh, I don't feel any pain whatsoever. So I'm really excited. I'm, I'm truly excited by uh, the decision I made uh, to move forward with this. So let me take you now to the bathroom and show you what everything looks like. So let me see. Make sure I got this set up right here. I hope this still works. If you can see that. I might have my wife end up doing this, but back here, uh, the scarring, the, the scarring, the uh, scabs obviously are still there. I haven't uh, washed my hair um, at all, so I'm looking forward to actually getting into the shower at some point. But uh, that's what it looks like, and uh, the very top of my head. Again, I hope this is picking this up. Looks like that. Um, and then here's what I've found that I can do 
take a look at this. If this captures it, I have a hat. There you go. Now, still looks like I have my full head of hair here. Uh, I can wear this for a few days in the office without a problem. And I'm good to go. That's it. And then as soon as you get it, oh, it's recording now. It's recording now. Okay. So I'll just hold this down. Are we good? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, hi, my wife is showing where we are exactly 24 hours later. Uh, it's the evening, Saturday evening, and I wanted everyone to see what it looks like. Again, the big takeaways for me today have been zero pain. I've had no discomfort whatsoever. Uh, I have been, for my children's sake, trying to wear my hat, uh, but I often forget to put it on simply because I simply, uh, I, I, it feels normal as if nothing had occurred, which is uh, really unbelievable. And one ear. One ear is still, it's protruding slightly because of the the, the uh, Novocaine or Lidocaine that went in, but it's slowly, slowly coming back into shape. Uh, everything feels great. I'm looking forward to taking a shower tomorrow. And uh, again, I have had no, no feelings whatsoever. I had to really uh, relax myself. I wanted to go out running. I wanted to do everything I normally do on Saturdays. But uh, I just stayed in. I relaxed, uh, read the paper, those types of things. But uh, I feel absolutely terrific. And comparatively, this is compared to where it was. My wife will attest to the mess the first time. Um, dealing with the cleanings on every night. This had to, my scar had to be cleaned first time around. Extremely painful to sleep on as any large four or five inch uh, slice would be on the back of your head. I, I have none of, I've had none of that. Uh, there's no oozing, there's no bleeding, there's been nothing uh, since last night. Everything's healed up beautifully, so I feel really good, feel very positive, and we'll see what it looks like tomorrow after I take my shower. Morning, it's Sunday, uh, around 11 o'clock. I had my first shower since the uh, transplant, and uh, I feel great. It felt really good to get into the shower this morning, get cleaned up. Uh, I cleaned everything up. I wanted to make sure I showed how that looks now. It looks really good. Again, I'm feeling terrific. Uh, no pain. No, uh, There's no bleeding or anything. I was able to sleep last night in my bed, and I still used the pillow to keep my head off, uh, uh, kind of the airline pillow around my neck, to keep my head off the regular pillow so the back wouldn't touch it. But other than that, I had slept well, slept till about 6.30 this morning, so that's really good. I'm gonna try and show what this looks like now. Uh, everything cleaned up very well. I got rid of whatever uh, little blood and everything else that was there, so that feels good. I'm gonna get this, after about a week, I'm gonna get the rest of this trimmed up, but I like the fact that I actually cut my hair very close cropped here so it's going to blend in. After about a week, this is going to be uh, about a maybe a one or uh, maybe a little less, and I'll have everything trimmed up to look the same. Uh, you want to take a look at the top here. I'll lean, lean down. You can take a look there. All the plugs. Again, I just came out of the shower. I made sure to let my head soak both with uh, some head and shoulders and with the conditioner. Um, I never let the water hit any of the uh, transplanted hairs. I made sure that kept the water off there as much as possible. Um, just kind of basically dribbled it on to get the conditioner out, but feeling great. Good? Yeah. Excellent. It's Monday, one o'clock, and it's day, uh, let's see, Friday, second, third day. So today I took the opportunity and I ran three miles, and I uh, feel great, head feels great, no, no complaints at all. Um, I think uh, I'm, I'm starting to get a little bit of itching, which is good, just along the back here. Things are healing up, that means. Uh, there is a little bit of the lidocaine and novocaine continues to drain down, so there's the ever slightest bit of tenderness here as it continues to drain down. But that's it. So I'm feeling really good. In fact, I went out to a movie with my best friend last night, and uh, he's interested in, in getting some hair replacement done as well. So this is, um, this is good. Let's take a look at what we are today. That. See it? Yeah. And that. I 
Excellent. I'm off to my very first meeting. It's Monday, so uh, what I told my customer is that I'll be wearing a hat. I had some minor surgery, and uh, this is how I'm going to go. I'm ready to face the day. Hi, it's Thursday. It's in the evening, and uh, I want to kind of tell you where I am right now. I'm at the uh, scab stage, so right now, uh, both on top and in the back area, it's been uh, it's been some itching, and it's uh, it's hard to keep your hands off of that um, during the day. But I'm doing two things: I'm washing my hair in the morning, and I'm washing my hair at night, and I'm also adding a neosporin. Um, right afterwards on both occasions, which really seems to mitigate any itching, at least for a while. And then it kind of, you know, mid-afternoon, it, it starts back up again. Um, did you want to go, I'm going to do a quick shot and see where we are at the top of my head and the back. My plan is on Saturday to get my hair cut to kind of blend everything in. Good? Yeah. So we're just over a week now. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. Everything's growing in uh, perfectly. I had my hair shaved to accommodate the oh, yeah. cut in the back. And, um, and the, the top is uh, covered. I have a little bit of topics on there, but that's it. Beautiful. Looks good. Let's just take a quick look back here. Looks very well healed. We can't even see anything going on back here. That's what it looks like in a week. And uh, everything's looking good in the back. Great, so we'll see you in a little while. Thanks for shooting the video. Um, any questions about anything? No, perfect. Awesome. Excited to see those results coming up. I can't wait.